Good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Today we begin our next project, a sculpture project based on the artwork of Lonnie Holly. Lonnie Holly was born February 10, 1950, in Birmingham, Alabama. His art is called Impro improvisational creativity because he does things that just come to his mind and things that he finds automatically right then uh, and there. You can see he does sculpture work, drawing, painting, photography, performance art, and sound, which would be his music. His sculptures are created out of found objects. They usually commemorate places, people, and events that have happened throughout his life or in society at the time. Uh, and his artwork is born out of the struggle and hardship of people. His website is here, uh, Lonnie Holly. There's an interview that you can watch of his as well. And then there's also sample music of his, his improvisational music. The project that you are going to do is based on his sculptures of portraits or, or facial features. You're going to need things like a metal hanger, air pliers, screwdriver helps, you can have a wrench, wire cutters if you need to. I have a plastic bag. I have a rubber glove. I have a Baby Yoda uh, rope artwork, different ropes and strings, a rubber bands, a Walmart bag or plastic bag. I have a rosary. There are many different objects and, and things that you can use. Beads, feathers, pieces of clothing, cloths, bags, nails, bolts, paper clips, etc. Uh, if you can find it around your home, it's something that could technically be used in this sculpture. You're going to bend the wire hanger into the profile of your face, and you're going to use the found objects that represent features or qualities of you. You can see the on the right a drawing example of what might this might look like. You're going to have to take pictures of yourself while creating the sculpture, uh, a picture of you, of your material before you begin sculpting, a picture of you holding the project, if the, and a picture of the project by a wall where it's casting a shadow so you can see the shadow of the, uh, the artwork against the wall uh, as well. And all four pictures must be added to the digital portfolio for you to earn full credit uh, for the project. It's a way of giving proof that you actually created this piece of artwork. Do not wait until the due date to begin. You want to begin getting your materials today. And you want to begin uh, developing it in, in all over the next couple of days. Tomorrow, I'll have a video that shows an example of, of how I've created one. Here are some examples of his, his artwork. You can see the facial features, the silhouette of the face, and multiple faces in some of them. You can use cop copper wire if you don't have a metal hanger. Uh, you can use aluminum wire. There's multiple types of, of wires you can use if you don't have a hanger. And you bend the hanger to make the portrait of the face. And the other found objects to create the other features. You can see in a lot of his sculptures there are multiple faces within them. including like, pieces of cloth and rubber band, net. There's even some branches inside of one. So as you can see, you have to come up with something creative. Uh, and this is something new for you to do as it is sculpture. 
I look forward to seeing what you create and what develops through this process. Remember, follow the directions. Make sure you watch the videos. Make sure that you uh, ask me questions if you have any questions. You all have a blessed day and make sure you gather your supplies today. Thank you and have a blessed day.